Oh, hey everyone, how's it going? Lad from the woods here at the Winterfell camp. Well, it's been four or five days, super, super hot weather. Uh, I'm melting here. I'm like I've said a million times before, I'm not built for southern Ontario weather. Anyway, uh, the weather's going to break here in about 48 hours, and hopefully, that's it for the rest of the year. It looks like it's August is going to be uh, back to a regular temperature, at least something more tolerable. Um, about a week, a uh, little over a week away to going to Sable Beach. Anyways, quick update. I'm still trying to sell the bus. I'm going through absolute fucking hell. I have never in my entire life when I've sold something seen so many incredibly stupid people. It's just unbelievable. Every single one that calls or leaves a message is they don't read anything. Uh, I'll, I'll read you what I have in my ad, okay? From the top, it says 2004 fully upgrade schoolie conversion for sale. The next line, if the ad is still up, it's still available, won't respond to, is it available? What does everybody do every single time? Is it still available? It's like, did you read? And then the next one is, motor is not running, in caps. Next question I get from the people. Oh, is there anything wrong with it? Then I say, did you not read the ad? Yes. I said, motor's not running. Oh, okay, I'm not interested. I'm like, like, and it's over and over and over again. One guy, and who happens to be a follower apparently, drove all the way up here from Toronto. Um, we spent half a dozen hours together. Pretty cool guy, by the way. And, uh, um, you know, he went and did some research and everything after he left and uh, he found it was going to be very difficult uh, to, you know, deal with the motor and everything. And, uh, you know, the sad part of it is he never asked one stupid question. He went through the, you know, he obviously had read the ad, the entire thing. He knew which questions to ask, very intelligent towards the schoolie thing, despite not owning one before. It's his first time looking at one. His exact words were the same as mine. He went camping up at a place called Killarney in Northern Ontario with his wife and kids. He's got two very young uh, kids, they're a young couple. And, uh, but I mean, he, uh, he had the same thing as me. It's like, I really want to put steel between me and the sky kind of thing. That, that was his thing. And I'm like, yeah, brother, do I ever hear you? So anyways, uh, like I said, he hung out. He um, took my email address and uh, gave him a card for the insurance company because there was a bunch of questions he didn't know the answers to. So um, I, I helped him as much as I could. I, I helped him as much as I could with that. Um, now the thing with it is um, um, it was going to be too difficult for him uh, between doing the safety the motors not running you need the motor to run the safety I get I get the whole process it's the one guy though I actually feel bad for because he's got two young kids and I think to myself like I really like seeing a young couple like that get out get their kids you know out and about doing the camping thing and all that so anyways, I made him an offer. I won't go into it uh, to help him there. I haven't heard back from him. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to, but at least I made the offer to him. I won't do it for anyone else. Um, but I've answered. So he was just like a total, like, breath of fresh air. It's like, damn, I wish he could, you know, I wish he could buy it. I mean, it's not like he still doesn't have time, and he may end up coming with something up with an idea that I wouldn't even thought of. Um, um, so I mean, like, like I say, I've got a guy that's a local here. He's coming to look at it on Monday. There's another guy coming in from Quebec somewhere uh, between now and Monday. It's a holiday long weekend. So anyways, like I say, I just wanted to do a quick one. I'm really, I, I'm exhausted from it. It's, uh, it's cool in here and everything, but you go out in the heat and I'm just like, blah. And uh, these people just wear me out and I'm going like, C can we be this stupid in this country? And I said this to my mom, I said, you know, if this, I mean, if this is any kind of representation that, of the stupidity that's going on in this country, well, you know, whatever leaders you people elect and all the rest of it, you deserve what you get because first of all, you don't read. And that's like one of the most important things when you're doing business, read, read your contracts, read lawyer papers. These are the same people that don't read, claim this claim. I had one guy from 
Quebec that told me that my ad didn't say the motor wasn't running and what was the other thing? Uh, oh, the mileage on it. And I'm like, like, motor is not running is the third line down. And then he started to argue and I said, well, oh, the mileage, I, the mileage is in there. 21 feet long, 350 feet. You know what? I said, fuck this and I hung up on him and blocked him. I block every single one of them. And all the ones that are like, you know, is it still available? Block, block, block. Because you know they're not reading. So what's the point? And I don't want to spend my whole life on this fucking phone doing this stuff. Anyways, just there's my van, there's my rant. I wish the guy down in Toronto could uh, could get the, the unit because he's the only one that has a brain. And believe me, when you're out there on the road camping and RVing, and or if you're living on the road like a lot of the kids do with the schoolies, you need to be intelligent. You need to be able to work on your own unit and so on and so on. I mean, this is not uh, some movie where you just, okay, I'll get out and go back to my home and somebody else will take care of it. It doesn't work that way. Okay? So anyways... Uh, there you go. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for listening to my venting. Lad, I'm not going to mention your name. If you're out there in Toronto, I really feel bad for you because you're probably the one guy that should have this bus. He, he's an HVAC guy. He's got all kinds of experience and lots of things. So, um, But I just think of him and his wife and his two young, very young kids. And I'm like, I remember when my parents used to take us out. So it's, it, it's bothering me. And like I said, I made him an offer that I won't make to anyone else. If he's able to do it, great. If he's not, well, I've tried my best. So anyway, if you ever see this lad, you know, tip my hat to you. Thank you for being so intelligent, smart relax and a great guy and you know what if you ever want to visit just as a friend or come fishing or meet me up in Sable Beach you know where to find me after August 12th campsite 50 White Sands Campground I will be there so and you and your wife and kids are more than welcome to come and stay with me on the campsite if you want so okay all right so we'll see you guys later and uh, I'll try and do more updates I'm just I'm way behind I'm exhausted so okay bye bye